Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbeck. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here's your daily technical analysis of LME 3 month copper and aluminium. I'll start with LME 3 month copper. A lot is going on here. A key reversal down and a bearish engulfing pattern yesterday after the previous session's inverted hammer pattern. Now, inverted hammer patterns are interesting, as traditionally they're seen as bullish reversal patterns, but data indicates that something like 7 out of 10 times they act as bearish continuation patterns. So it was interesting to see if the market would follow tradition or the data. Well, it seems the market chose the bearish continuation, data-driven, inverted hammer pattern opportunity. Prices opened right on the 50% Fibonacci line of a January 21 to March 22 move at 92.75. A small move higher before come, turning back down and punching down through the support at 91.89 and 91.61, plus the lesser Fibonacci level at 90.97 before halting, more or less, in the middle of a free zone and reverting to close just under the congestion at 91.61. Overall, I've recently discussed whether the late April today action is a possible bearish halfway hesitation or something else. At the moment, it seems the bearish halfway hesitation idea has the upper hand compared to another idea, such as a double bottom. This has been enough for me to place a provisional target X below in the 8300 area, just in case. You can see it peeking up from the bottom of my daily chart. There is still a lot to do, as you can see by the many congestion bands below, as well as the recent May lower 89.38. But the bearish incentive is rebuilding at the moment. So far today, well, a test up to the congestion at 91.61 before a turn back down and a rest stop being made on the lesser Fibonacci level at 90.97. We are still within yesterday's range, large yesterday's range. I'm wondering if this market is considering whether or not to try and make June a monthly key reversal. It wouldn't need much. Just watch this space. LME three month aluminium. An immediate countering key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern yesterday after the previous session's bullish harami. The market opened a little higher and managed to push up and escape the previously highlighted congestion band dating from late 2021, which includes the December 21 low at 25.81 and stretches from 26.22 uh, to 25.63. However, despite this bullish move, the market ran into a brick wall overhead at the 26.50 area. This is a small separate congestion area dating from November and December last year, and it capped the rise and turned the market back down with such vehemence that prices punched down right through the 26.22 to 25.63 congestion area, and also down through the November low of last year at 25.08. Prices then slowed and reverted back up, closing just over the 25.08 support. Overall, I've marked three target areas on the daily chart, and actually four. Um, but one is off the bottom of my daily chart. These are the target levels. Target X is in the 2733 area and is the was the primary target for the March to April descending triangle. Target X1 is in the 2383 area and is the first target for the April to date bearish halfway hesitation. It is the first target because I utilized two measuring points for this move. As I said, this one is from late April. Target X2 in the 2549 area was the secondary target, harder to get for the descending triangle pattern. Finally, off the bottom of my daily chart is Target X3 in the 1954 area. This is the bearish halfway hesitation, but measured from the mid-March high. These are the potentials on the downside. Below, we have support at 2441, and then again at the June 2018 high at 23.53. So far today, well, a slightly lower open and a gentle move below the November 21 low at 25.08, but it's still within yesterday's range and seems to be very cautious. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investors International Limited. And here comes the final bit.